Whilst in Gangtok, we visited the Emche Monastery, uh, which was established in 1909. And you get good views of the uh, Kanchenjunga Range and Mountains with the snow on top. So we have come up to this monastery, which is only 10 minutes away from the hotel, and you get a, a good view of Kanchenjunga. It's just a little bit cloudy over the summits, but uh, this is the Kanchenjunga block or Kanchenjunga terrain. Well, this is a little monastery we've come to on our last on our last day in the morning. It is uh, ten to ten. And it's founded in uh, I think it's the eighteen forties. It's quite small. He says uh, that he was famous for his flying power. I don't know what his flying power was, but anyway. That's just a little bit of screed about the uh, about the founder of this monastery. So this is the monastery, and it's uh, it's in a Chinese style. Um, it seems to lack the the deer and the the wheel of life. Um, and it has these uh, slightly sort of dipping roofs, which you get on um, pagoda buildings. This is the lady at the uh, at this monastery with our uh, uh, prayer wheel, wearing it down, and, and uh, some beads, a bit like a ros rosary beads, and uh, smartly dressed in a pink hat and turquoise uh, very Tibetan this is a nice view from the monastery apart from this fellow banging away behind me with a hammer it doesn't matter of the high peaks they're not the highest of the peaks but it's a definite wow, isn't it? you can see there the uh, snow on the tops I don't know what this young lady's doing here. He's just banging away with his hammer and making marks in the concrete for some reason or other, whether it's a pattern or... There must be, a, there must be some reason for it, which I haven't fathomed out. This is where we are this morning after the visit to the monastery. Seeking Hang Loom Handicrafts Development Corporation. They're trying to prefer, preserve the old skills. So they're teaching, uh, teaching young people um, well, all kinds of skills, wood carving, carpet making and so on and so forth. We've come to some handicraft centre and this guy's doing fret work with a bow saw and a very fine blade. And he's following a pattern which is marked out with ink. This guy's doing some very intricate painting to a pattern. There, there are pattern books which they draw out onto the uh, onto this canvas. And uh, <coughs> so he is showing this young fellow what to do. And, uh, so they're all painting uh, very gaudy scenes, typical. I think they're Buddhists, Buddhist scenes, uh, to these patterns. And this is a, a pattern book, and this young chap's copying it into a piece of paper. To make school, this is a sort of flat, as it says on the top there, rather intriguingly. It's, uh, it's a class duty, class duty roster for uh, 
for the week. So these are young people learning this skill, this painting skill, and carving skill. So this young lady is winding the wool from wool wine. And this wool is used for making these, I don't know what they are really. It's like raffia work. In this uh, handicraft, handicraft centre. And again, we visited a giant stupa built in 1945. Uh, the road up to that was, again, very, very steep and uh, some people decided uh, not to venture up there. It wasn't very far, I think it was maybe five minutes walk. In fact, you could see it from the bottom. So we have come to this modern uh, stupa. Which is... Just a hundred metre walk from the Tibetan Museum, which we've just been in. And uh, lots of prayer wheels all the way around. This room, which is locked, is absolutely chock a block with candles. Hundreds of them. Some of which are burning, and the ones at the top end aren't. But the building itself is locked, so you can't go in. But turn uh, here. Yeah. Impressive. There are lots of prayer wheels here, some quite unique in there, or unique to me, and they've got a, a sort of handle like a brace. And others are, the wooden ones are far more traditional. But this obviously helps spin them around really quickly if you want to. See how fast you can get it to go. This is our last day in Sikkim, in Gangtok, so in fact it's the last day of the holiday really. And this is a shopping centre, Mahatma Gandhi Road. Mm -hmm. Mahatma Gandhi Road. In Gangtok, Sikkim. So I'm at the other end of Mahatma Gandhi Road. Uh, it's just basically a shopping mall with lots of shops, usual shops, and then uh, it continues down there. So I'll continue walking down there and come back the same way. All the way down MG Road in the middle, there's this wonderful display of flowers all the way along. It's a beautiful smell from them. I don't know, I don't know what they are, but they really are quite stunning. Wonderful. These, these little lads are playing marbles. And they have a strange way of flicking it. Yeah, you know, you already cut the rough ones out and jam in the wedding. Hey, Peter, go in your picture. We've been back in the car, boo. Why, you laugh? 